How does a rich party boy prove his worth? Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today, we're going to be explaining the New 52 origin of Green Arrow. This is the retelling from Secret Origins number 4 in Green Arrow issue number 0. Oliver Queen was born with everything. Hopes, dreams, and a bottomless bank account. But he was also born in the shadow of his father, Robert Queen. There was a predestined future that he was expected to live up to, and regardless of the fact that he was basically the best there ever was at anything he set his mind to, he instead fought against his father and refused to accept his destiny. Instead of learning the business side of his family's legacy, he spent time learning fencing, archery, and overall just having a good time with his friend Tommy. The whole point of everything he did was just to anger his father and show his father that he didn't have to live up to this predetermined destiny. Break away from it all. Well, one day he got his wish when he and Tommy went to an oil tanker for a party, and a villain known as Iron Eagle crashed their party demanding the oil from the tanker. He informed the occupants that if they just left him alone and let him steal the oil, he wouldn't harm anyone. But if anyone tried anything, they placed explosives around the entire facility and they would blow it all up. One of the tanker's crew even told Oliver, this has happened to other rigs in the area. They just take what they want and they leave everyone alive, so let's just sit tight and let it happen. But Oliver refused to just let this happen and he ran into the rig prepared for war. Tommy tried to stop Oliver. He told him that this was stupid and he can't just take out a whole army of pirates by himself. This won't prove anything to your father. Just stop, Ollie. But Oliver knew what he was doing. It was a simple plan. He would go to the top deck and he would use his bow to shoot the detonator out of Iron Eagle's hands. So he got up there and he prepared for the ultimate shot. He would end all of this and show everyone what he was capable of. Well, he did manage to get the detonator out of Iron Eagle's hands, but it fell off the side of the oil rig, and as it bounced off the hard metal ground and then the support beams, the button was pressed, and the entire rig was destroyed. He awoke hours later, washed up on a random nearby island with the burnt body of his best friend Tommy lying next to him. Through his dying breaths, Tommy simply leaves Ollie with these parting words. I know you, Oliver Queen, and these aren't going to be the last people that you get killed. Now stranded on a random island, Oliver uses his fighting skills that he's been practicing to survive. And as time went on, he honed his skills. Well, at first, his biggest enemy was hunger. He eventually learned that there are things worse than hunger on this island. And these mercenaries captured, tortured, and made Ollie beg for his life. But this just helped carve what would later become known as the Green Arrow. As he broke free from their captivity, he fled back into the forest, and he never gave up fighting. Time would pass, and Oliver would spend his days on the beach looking for the rescue that would eventually find him. And he would return no longer dead to the world. But everything was just different to him. So he spent his nights hunting, and he became the Green Arrow, funding his war against crime with his fortune. And during the day, he would take the role that his father wanted him to take playboy, genius, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. He eventually teams up with John Diggle and Felicity Smoke to become the hero that his city has needed him to become. Thank you guys for joining us today, and make sure you follow us at Twitter, at ComicStorian, and Instagram, at ComicStorian. Also, check out all of these other great videos around if you want to learn more lore and great stuff about video games, movies, and comic books. I'll see you guys next time, right here.